welcome back to medical laboratory technologies videos today i am going to give you review how to use automatic esr analyzer that is name mix rate x20 why we will call mix rate x20 x20 why because we can run 20 samples at one time as you can see from positions 1 to 20 positions already marked and we can keep 20 samples at one time so first i will tell you about this machine this is the screen and this is the keypad for this machine and this is the printing roll that we have to insert manually and if you have phone in your one hand for making video then this problem will come this door otherwise very easy to close and then back side there is a button for switch on button because night time if you are not using you can shut down otherwise you can keep on and these are mono set ESR vacuum tubes that are available from same company and, and these tubes you can fill the blood until this mark and sodium citrate already available in this tube you have to mix properly and these tubes you will keep in room temperature and now I on the machine and like that screen will display if self test and if you want to delete previous result you will choose enter and if you don't want then choose escape button and I will click enter button because I don't want previous result to keep because otherwise difficult to find more results and then it will come please wait it will take some time until that you will see the main screen how it will appear until that I will show you the controls of this machine that what abnormal and abnormal control we will use in this machine these are the controls that are available with same company that are giving you ESR monoset tube that company same will provide control also there is normal and abnormal control I already filled the control because daily no need to make new control this control you can use for several days and there is barcode reading for this control first you have to enter the manually all the values and this barcode number and after that you can just read your barcode in the machine and you can run the samples but uh, sorry you can run the control but before running control you have to mix properly very well properly mix this control then only you run in your machine and this is cbc rotor for cbc sampling we are keeping hematology samples for mixing same rotor you can use you can keep normal and abnormal control and try uh, need to mix properly when you feel feel that your control is properly mixed then this is the barcode reader for this machine then you can read the barcode but for control running this is the main screen also as you can see the main screen first is id and in that id1 and id2 id1 means you can enter sample opd sample one by one and id2 means you can run a batch now i will go escape and i click button 2 that is for memory from two, two options you can view results three is to run qc and first is qc id that we will read as a barcode and then fourth is print and sixth one is important that is setup in setup you can see that if we want results within 30, 30 minutes also we can get and if we want result 1 hour also we can get and 2 hours also we can get and uh, print option, graph, host, date, time, mixer these all options are in setup so this is a small screen where you can easily find out your necessary item now I will came to main screen and now I open the cover and I will go option 3 because first I have to run control so you can see how to run control I will choose the option 1 QC ID and this now you can see barcode I read the barcode and this came now came insert sample so first I will keep normal sample and just you see it is settled full and you can just keep in position any position you can choose machine automatically will detect now you see one position I keep normal control and now reading barcode for abnormal control and now we'll keep abnormal control I will keep any position like position 4 so now you see this position 1 and position 4 and main screen you also can see 1 and 4 is showing that sample is inside and after we will wait for 30 minutes and we can get our results at the end I will show you how to read the result and as you can see when result will finish this cross will come and you can see that QC1 and QC2 sign how uh, sorry QC1 and QC2 results how to read and uh, QC1 came uh, 6 I think or 7 and QC2 came 38 
same way now you see how to run sample for sample we went to id one option one we choose and v1 id one and now manually i enter one number and six seven four and now option came insert sample so all now we will keep this sample that is properly i will mix first and now you see it is until the mark and now i will keep any position position one i keep and that position now if we will go main screen we can see that position one is showing the sample id that sample is inside and we have to wait for 30 minutes so this is the machine that in which you can run automatically esr samples and it is very easy to handle this machine and very uh, good in function also and you can use for long term purpose there is no special maintenance there is no special any and when results will finish then this cross sign will come qc1 came 7 and qc uh, uh, sorry normal came 7 and abnormal control came 38 that was position 4 so this was the machine that you can use very and very easy to handle also i hope you like the review of this machine if you like do click on like button and do share also until that bye, -bye.